Our theme today is the generosity of simplicity, and we're turning to the book of Leviticus, to the 25th chapter, verses 8 through 12, which describes something called the year of Jubilee. You shall count off seven weeks of years, seven times seven years, so that the period of seven weeks of years gives 49 years. Then you shall have the trumpet sounded loud on the tenth day of the seventh month, on the day of atonement. You shall have the trumpet sounded throughout all your land, and you shall hallow the fiftieth year, and you shall proclaim liberty throughout the land to all the inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you. You shall return, every one of you, to your property, and every one of you to your family. That fiftieth year shall be a jubilee for you. You shall not sow or reap the aftergrowth or harvest the unpruned vines, for it is a jubilee. It shall be holy to you. You shall eat only what the field itself produces. Well, this year of Jubilee is a pretty radical idea, which may be why, as far as we know, the Israelites never actually did it. Because part of what is being taught and encouraged here is the idea that every 50 years, basically, everyone returns to whatever their family was 50 years ago. So if you had acquired a lot of land or you had accumulated a lot of property, uh, everyone went back to their own people, to their own land, and it was kind of a wiping away of the debts and beginning over. And in Jesus' ministry, part of what he declares in his opening sermon in Luke chapter 4 is the idea that with him coming, he is declaring a year of jubilee. Uh, and that's when the oppressed shall go free and all the other things that Isaiah had said the Messiah would do. But one of the things that we discover, as I said, is that it doesn't seem like the people of Israel ever practiced this. And part of it is because, let's face it, our money, our wealth, our possessions, they're pretty hard to let go of. And one of the reasons why Jesus says you can't serve God in wealth is because Wealth can really get a grip on our heart. But one of the things about a more simple lifestyle is that it does enable us to have more resources that we can share and we can give away. And that's part of what simplicity enables us to do. That we can be generous and gracious as God is with us, with other people. Simplicity and generosity, they go together.